Hi, and welcome to Clash with Cuddy. So I'm a new Town Hall 10. I just took Town Hall 10 about three and a half weeks ago. Uh, we got my Infernals going to level 2. I, th I, th I thought about a 9.5, but I, 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 got, I got my troop, my main troops up, and I decided just to to not even bother and just put drop my stuff. So I've got a lot of my troops. So I got my golems and my uh, hounds up, and I'm working on. And I got one level of freeze, so I'm barely in there. Um, but I have a, the, all the troops I need, and I, I spent a decent amount of gems getting war ready. So I'm pretty much war ready. And this video is going to talk about the different types of war attack that I've been doing, even though it's only been four. I've, I've three starred four bases but I've been watching a lot of twitch videos or twitch wars from the top clans and, I, and I've learned quite a bit we are currently on a 78 war winning streak so it's been pretty awesome you know, we've had one war where there was a tie but we got the win for most destruction against the Chinese clan by and large the Chinese clans are our toughest opponents and here's our latest war things but obviously it doesn't show 78 but we've got it calculated at about 78 I'm pretty, pretty we're pretty positive 78 war wins as of this video so I'm gonna show three different attacks that I did and the f kind of the philosophy that I've kind of seen going on about these attacks this is the la latest war or the war before we did were we got all, we had, had three town all tens, we had three of ours and myself being in there. I was able to three stall, star their number three. And again, this is not a max base <laughs> by any means, but it still is the Inferno, so it's good to practice the philosophy. Seeing is, one of the main strategies for, is go Lava Lunion. There are also, there's also a town all 11 witch strategy. There's also like go wife strategies, but the by and large, the most consistent are the go Lava Lunion. And the object is to get in with your queen and take out as many air defenses and or infernals as you can. And if that means using every spell, you do it. And maybe you have a couple hastes left over. I mean, I saw guys unload every single spell. So on this base, you see there are the three right there that I'm going to try to get in and take. So I am, I ended up using all of my spells except for the three haste. And by and large, what I'm seeing is that haste is 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 used way more than rage. Because because two balloons take out of defense either way, whether they're hasted or rage, and you always put two on every defense. So what I did with the arrow up there in blue is I'm dropping a hog because I want to lure out the clan castle because I want the clan castle to engage my queen as she's coming in on the outside so not all the point defenses are pelting her so here comes the hog so I want to break her in there but I and I don't want all the defenses hitting me while the, ho the hound is in there the hound is on me now notice where I drop the poison if you take a poison spell and you f a balloon has to cross it it will die on its own before it gets to you and that's huge because if you know the balloon gets to my queen she's dead because she's shooting this hound so that that is a huge thing I learned from watching actually uh, I believe power power uh, bang said that in one of his videos I learned is if you drop a minion on the enemy minions from the hound in the back one or two I only had enough for a minion and a archer it really helps you can save spells so here I'm about to drop a rage and it's very important throughout the entire process that my queen and my healers are in the rage. Now I have three point of defenses shooting at me, which will kill her. Because again, I'm not a max queen. So both my queen and my healers have to be in there because I need her to do more damage. And I also need the queen, or excuse me, the healers to be maxed in, in the uh, rage. So I drop another one. Now, there's the only two ways to stop an infernal tower from, from killing you. There's one, a freeze, and I want her being healed. And also her ability. 
Now, I've watched some wars where guys used two freezes and two rages just to get to what I'm getting here. So the value is huge. Now I use her ability, get that. Now I'm golden. Now, I, I throw the king up there just to start clearing out the top. And... and and perhaps to stop those top defenses from shooting my loons. And so I'm coming in with, it turns out I don't believe they would have. They might have, but I don't think they would have, the way that the, un, the attack unfolded, but I wanted to do it. So I drop two hounds on each of the air defenses, and I'm doing two balloons on each defense. And you really have to kind of pay attention where the pathing is. Now I have three haste because I want them to get in there ASAP. Dropping all three haste to get the balloons into the middle. My queen is also working in the middle. She takes out the enemy queen, uh, king. And the balloons get in there and they get everything. I mean, th that's it. I mean, you take out as much as you can with the queen. And so this one is like the highest value of my three attacks. I was able to get the inferno and two air defenses. In my next attacks... I'll be showing you, I'm only able to get two air defenses, but I'm using lightning, which a lot of the people really don't use in a lot of the wars, but I just don't have the troop, my queen's not high enough for, I don't know what it is, but you'll see in the next attack here. On this raid, uh, I'm using lightning to take out the inferno. Three lightnings take out a level one. These are level three, so I'm using three lightnings and two earthquakes. Now, my lightnings are only level six, and they're upgrading to seven now. So I'm trying to take that inferno out. I'm using a lot of spells. The queen's coming up top, and I want her to take out that air defense, and ideally, I want her to move to the right and clean up the side and come in there, hopefully, and get the queen or just mess up stuff in there. Now, I'm also coming from the other corner with a little, little little tiny kill squad a couple giants and the uh and my king to try to get that and get those targets in there to clean up as much as i can so i'm sacrificing the king okay so here i go i'm going to drop the lightnings and the earthquakes now i'm trying to maybe so in the opening time, if I can get the king to kind of get close, maybe I can do a little bit of damage to him. But uh, I don't think I really got much. I figured I might as well get him close because I got the time. I think I got him a little bit. Then I'll drop my two earthquakes. Coming with the queen. I'm going to wall break her in after I drop my healers. Two wall breakers. Now I'm coming over to the side with the king. I'm dropping two giants. And then I'm coming in with some wizards, I believe four wizards, two on the outside, two going in. Wall break in, get the king in there. I'm watching the queen because I know I'm going to have to rage in here because there's going to be three defenses shooting me. And I'm going to have the CC coming at me, raging the king to make sure he gets in there and gets that other air defense. She's coming in here. And I'm hoping and praying that she takes out the, all those balloons and everything, and, and she barely does. Now she's coming over here working on the side. Now I'm waiting for her to get in there, into that compartment. That way she can do some damage while my balloons are going. Because I know my queen's going to be shooting my hounds. But I figure with my queen coming in there, she probably will engage her and should take her out. So once she's in, I go. I got two hounds over there, two hounds on the bottom. I dropped balloons there first. Again, I'm, I'm using a rage in this attack instead of two haste because I wanted to get up in there because there's a lot of uh, high hit point targets in there. So I wanted to get them there and have them do a lot of damage on it just take it all out in one shot. I've got the queen in there too, although probably haste might have worked. So I got the queen in there. Everything's in. Now here's, this is huge. The queen's alive. She's tanking that expo. She's taking it out, a high hit point target, and then she's going to clean up. And the, and the balloons are able to get there with the last couple of hounds. They absorb, those minions and the hounds absorb uh, the, air, the air bombs, which would have just wiped my balloons out. But I, I'm pretty sure the queen would have cleaned the base up either way. There was plenty of time. Balloons get over there. Uh, in fact, she ends up having to go over there and clean that up at the end anyways. So saving the queen there was, was huge. And there you have it.
from my last attack, um, it was from our latest war where the other the previous attack was. This is the best war we've ever had. We only missed one star. We we Brad three star at town all eleven with a witch attack. Josh three star at town all ten with a witch attack, and I got two with the go lava loon. I'm gonna do a a war recap to show their attacks because they were pretty awesome. But this is a go lava loon video. So here again, I'm using three lightnings. These are level one infernos, so the three lightnings can just take out that inferno tower. And right there, and then I'm gonna come in with the queen right there drop a wizard on the bottom and on the top to help clean and also to force her where I want her I want her to get in there and get those two air defenses and clean up that little compartment and she'll kill the king hopefully and the CC I brought a poison to do that CC comes in I drop a poison in between to slow them down And ideally, I want my queen to clean that entire compartment and then move up the side and clear all of that up to there. And then once they, she gets to there, I'm going to start the rest of the attack. And I'm not going to do it till then because I want my balloons to come from there at the opener and not go to the back. I don't want them to go on those. I want them to go straight at the Inferno Tower. The other thing I do is I drop a king in the 3 o'clock corner, and I want the king to tank for my balloons coming in that end. That's pretty much his only job, so the balloons can come in there. My other two hounds are coming up from that area, and then I'm going to drop you know two loons on each point defense. And I'm also going to haste right there to get them there, haste there, and then haste there. And then I have a freeze spell to m just ensure that the hound survives. I'm not too worried about the balloons getting there because a single inferno is just going to get wrecked by a ton of balloons. So, here we go. Now I'm waiting to get the king, for the king to get near that inferno. I figure I'm not going to be able to kill him. If he was a queen, I would kill him with the three lightnings. But, I mean, it'll do some damage to him, which will help my queen. So I do get him a little bit and do some damage. Drop the queen. I wait for her to get up there. Now, what I'm watching for here is to make sure the cannon engages her before I drop my wizard, because otherwise the wizard will be killed on the first wizard. Right here the cannon engages her drop the wizard now I'm waiting for the archer tower to engage it does I drop my other wizard and that wizard there is to on the top is to help clean that and and force her into the compartment I don't want her going I don't want her going up prematurely and I certainly don't want her going down at the bottom because the raid's over so she gets in there the wizard's still working on those as soon as she gets into the compartment we got the CC coming in And I drop my poison. Now I'm going to use her ability. She kills the, uh, the the crossbow. She kills the dragon. Kills the king. And takes out those two balloons. If there's no poison there, she's dead. So now she's working her way up. Now I'm waiting. As soon as she takes out that cannon, so I've eliminated the possibility of my balloons going there, I'm going to start the king so he's working on the side to get in there in order for him to tank for my balloons coming in from that side because I won't have a hound that's coming there. Drop my two hounds up top, two balloons on each defense, and there's a balloon in the CC. Drop the hounds in the bottom, dropping a couple balloons here and there on each point defense. Dropping my hastes there and my last haste at the bottom. Now I'm going to freeze. Again, this is just to make sure that, that if he's locked on my hound, my hound survives to get down to the bottom. I'm, the balloons should get there and take out everything, and they do. And again, single infernos, man, they're just not going to take out 
ten balloons. It just takes too long. But they'll take out a hound, and then my balloons would get wrecked by everything else. So it works really nice. I've had a pretty decent hiatus because I t hit Town Hall 10 and stopped with the videos. I plan on trying to get into the swing of things and get a new video. And I'm definitely going to do a war recap of our last war. I hope you enjoyed the video.